got the brand new 3.5 hand hang a key hang key i don't know how to say it but uh first things first when you get it out of the box before you do anything with this engine because you know you've been searching to figure out what you got to do or you're a professional and you already know but uh, here's the thing is you've got to put some gear oil in the lower end so i am going to just do it right here for you right now this is going to be an adventure video i guess let's get all this shit off don't want any of that going in into any of this the box has styrofoam that it comes in and it just gets everywhere well maybe i can and it's staticky so it sticks real real good <laughs> let's see here if i can get this straight with just these the thing does come with a, a good enough like a an okay enough amount of tools but i mean to be honest you're gonna need pliers for that to even start this thing god damn that's sharp and you got to pull this pin out that's the first order of business without cutting your hand on this <laughs> come on fuck that's sharp I'm not bashing on this I'm barely tapping it so because that thing's in there come on I'm just using the box and some of the styrofoam to make it semi-level. Oh man, that is really... I'm going to put some gloves on because that thing is... I'm fixing the slip and get cut. And I'm not trying to do that right now. <laughs> that would suck. like wearing gloves when I'm working on stuff because I feel like I can't feel I don't know if anyone else is like that there you straighten this out later or use this as your spare because it does come with an extra one right here so all right now we got the pin out it goes through boom all right feel like this video is going to be super long. Alright. There we go. Look, it had star from inside. How the hell did that even happen? Oh, that's a piece of plastic. This thing is way new, man. Trip. <laughs> okay. Well, there's the... There's the prop. Set that aside. Alright. Want to get this thing brushed off? You don't want. I'm. You know, I bet it doesn't really matter too much, but I'm gonna assume that it does a lot because you're putting gear oil. These engines do not come with gear oil in it. Okay, so pull your pin. All right, little pin. You've seen these little extra ones. All right, lay it out of the side. Somewhere you can identify it. All right. So. Our objective now is to get this um, plate off. So what we're going to do, I'm going to try and get this thing a little bit more straight. Uh, there. So our objective is to get this little plate off right here, okay? So now that I've gotten away from that sharp thing, I'm taking my gloves off and... Uh, I'm trying to use as many of the tools that they send you as possible. That Allen key doesn't fit for real? Okay, here we go. 
We got this one. All right. They send you two Allen keys. There. I'm going to try and go a little easy on this and try and take them out because I'm, a, you know, there's got to be some sort of gasket here that we want inside that we want to protect. We don't want to mess up. So just take these out. The way I'm taking it off is the same way I'm going to put it on too, you know, slow, slow and steady. Now I've looked, you know, a good, I've looked all over the internet trying to find like the proper way to break this thing in. And it's been hard to find these videos. I don't know if it's hard for people to label videos I don't know so let me see here there's a little recess if you see the screw the flathead screwdriver I'm assuming hold on where are the front right here how it goes in a little bit I'm assuming that is to help you get this plate up if necessary if not, then that's what I'm using it for, so. Okay. I'm using their little cheap screwdriver. They really went all out for this. It's an engine for under 200 bucks, so I don't expect a lot. I've never done this before, so. There's a spider crawling up. The camera. Alright. Oh shit. This thing was connected to my face. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this thing's useless right now. Like, if you're in a jam, then go ahead. But I'm not in a jam. I'm going to get a better screwdriver. Because all you got to do is take this plate off, right? I might edit all this out or I might just leave it. I don't care. There, just kind of slowly lifting that plate. Now, it's a little bit of a struggle because, look, just take your time. Don't don't be crazy with it, okay? Because, obviously, if there's oil in here, then there's got to be a seal on this. And this thing is not wanting to come up right now. I could fast forward and be like, see, it's off. But I kind of want to just... Leave this raw, you know? Like, this is the struggle. This is how long it took me to get this thing off. Let's see if I can kind of just shimmy it off. That noise you're hearing is the styrofoam. Come on got to come up a little bit more than that. There. Just be real easy with it, guys, you know? Try and get some replacement parts for this thing. I think it's cheaper just to buy new, new things. Alright, see, so... All right, there's your gear. There's no oil in there, okay? 
here's the top of this thing right look there's a little gasket around there that you don't want to mess up and i had no idea which way this gasket was going to be if when i was going in on this lip right here so you can really get in there without worrying about it i had no idea i thought maybe it would be like a gasket around the you know the presses but more or less this is one for the inside of this little area all right it's a trip and there's one on the inside of here too so you want to be very careful because around you know this gear you don't want to really fuck shit up like that so and when you scrape things they can corrode let me grab the gear oil real quick i went with um I went with uh, 80, 80, 90, because that's like what I read online. And uh, it seems sufficient, so it seemed all right. So here we go. Basically, just fill this thing up. There's no, le there's no real level to it. But I'm pretty sure... That there's that line on the inside there where this sits down into so I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of test drive that one see what's up I'm not even gonna use a squirt there we go let's get this thing a little straight something right inside there right now what what is that is it an air bubble yeah all right so you just pour it in there people have ran these without it crazy so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with to that line all right I just I mean, I'm pretty sure that's it. All right. Like I said, there's not a lot about this. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and show you. All right. Now, inside here, there's like a little bit of a line. Let me see. You can see those two gears in there. The one that runs up the shaft on this side, and then the one that spins the prop, okay? And I'm just going to put some oil around this edge right here for my finger. That seems suffice, to be honest. I don't really know. However, this is what I've read. This is what I've heard. If you want to go read all that shit, then you can There I go. Let's set this little bastard down. Let's try and get it just nice and snug. Nice and easy. Actually, hold on. I'm going to take a second to dip my finger and oh, let me zoom out sorry guys I'm going to take a second to dip my finger in there and wrap it all around this gasket just in case if it doesn't get high enough on there and that would be really really nice to get a good fit oh here we go 
All my neighbors are going to love me when I do the break-in on this. This thing is loud. I, I keep reading how loud this what this uh, particular engine is. Alright. So. It's on there to a certain part. Like it's about this much. It's probably like an eighth of an inch. I'm going to put these little bad boys back in here. I'm going to use this to tighten it down. Just going to hand tighten that. Same with this side. You don't have to be a professional to do this. You just got to be semi-competent. Alright, so here we go. Sorry about the shaking of the camera. There. Now you can see kind of what I'm doing. Right. Here we go. Alright, I'm just trying to show you what's going on, man, because you know I had to look this shit up a hundred different videos once that once I feel a little bit of tension I back off I'm gonna do this side now okay same thing with that once I just tighten it down just a little bit and then do this side just a little bit this side just do it like that guys just you can see it slowly going down. You see the little little crack right here. We just want it to be even, okay? All right. I know I just did that side, but seeing people just crank them down. No. Let this guide the gasket into the proper position. I don't know if you can even tell if your gear oil's out. I don't know if I can. Slowly coming back down along this edge. You can see. Just be patient with it. Think of all the time you're going to have to work on the engine if you don't do this stuff properly. Take the time right now to just kind of <laughs> keep yourself from having to deal with all that later down the road. Honestly, I've had outboard problems buying used engines. That's why I bought this one. Lightweight cheap I've, I have Johnson's I've got bigger Hankai I'm gonna call it that engines I gotta change the impeller on one I don't really care to deal with that right now I live out on the boat out in the moorings and I gotta drag my skiff up the beach so I want a lightweight engine there we go that one's tight this one's tight now that they're both hand tight I'm gonna use the other side here and just kind of give it a, a good twist there I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there. I'm fairly confident that uh, that's not going to leak. I took my time. I did it as right as I could. You know, that's all you got to do. It's your best. All right, now I'm going to throw this pin back in. You've seen them. Hold on. Keep them even. That's for... When the prop slides down, it fits into this little recess right here. Okay. All right. So we'll settle that down in there. Give it a little wiggle. See if it's wiggle it down in there. Seems like that's in place. All right. Now we're gonna throw. I'm gonna attempt to get this pin back in, even though it's bent. <laughs> Alright, let's get her in there. Let's see. 
Come on. That's the styrofoam from the box squeaking, so... You know what? Doesn't really matter. If you don't like it. Go to another video! When there isn't any! I'm not gonna bash on this hard it's going in but it's going in slow the last thing you want to do is start messing up your crop that you got, don't have anything to replace you know come on there we go she's coming I do have a hammer, but there's a reason why I'm not using the hammer. You know what, just for the sake of being... Alright, she's getting stuck in there. Fine, I'll put the new one in. Just because I don't want to have a longer video. Just, just needs to get straightened, that's all. Right here. I'll do it for you. With the new pin, just slide it in. There, right? Slide it in. Give her a good bend. needle nose pliers for now. I'm not on my boat. So that is why you see me struggling with a screwdriver and or and these I do not want this thing to come out. I don't want to lose my prop because I don't know if you can even get these. Can you get these? Who knows? <laughs> like They've had like multiple names for these, so I don't feel, I feel like that's good enough. I don't know. Would you let me know in the comments what you think that's good enough? <laughs> to spin and not fly off. So, there's the gear oil, okay? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix, um, well, what, what you need to do these engines here if I could zoom in and show you right here you need to add some uh, some uh, lubricant okay for grease with a grease gun so go for that and then uh, mix the gas people have been speculating on what kind of gas to mix for this thing However, I am just going to go with what it says on this bottle. It says 35 to 1. All right. 35 to 1. I might do a little bit more research with 35 to 1. The manual says 30 to 1 um, in here somewhere. But it's in Chinese, so... And then you got a little bit of a, this just tells you what everything is over and over again, but uh, it does say somewhere in here, right here, normal usage hour is 30 to 1, compares, it says the admixture of this machine 
at normal usage hour compares is 30 to 1. Please press this comparison strictly to prepare the admixture oil. Cannot random the changes. Don't know what the hell that means. I've tried to decipher it. The bottle says 35 to 1. Everyone else is saying 35 to 1. That's where you're going to run into things with this. Is that there's not a huge... There's not a huge... Uh, following, per se. But bear in mind, more oil in your gas mixture is technically better than having less oil so I mean I've got I've got the, their mixing bottle their mixing bottle says 35 to 1 okay and here's another thing okay guys their manual says 30 to 1 but it also says add mixtures and all kinds of weird shit it doesn't say like they're broken English all around when you get this and you read that manual you're gonna be like what the hell are they talking about so um, I'm gonna mix the gas I'm gonna fill I'm gonna fill up that trash can right out there That's right big American flag right there I've got this uh, trash can right there I'm gonna the engines lightweight enough and I'm gonna run this thing all right 